The smoke is coming from near that radio antenna. Maybe that's where they took the pilot. Probably. Ah, oh, the wingsuit. Brilliant. Oh my god, what happened to your face? Shit, they've been fungicized. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful now. There's nothing down there. Okay. Right, let's have a go at this. It's been a while since I wingsuited. Oh, Valley of the Yetis. Oh, hello, hello. Stop, stop, stop. Parachute it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. it's okay. It's all okay. Oh, jeez. I was a goner then. Um, how am I going to do this? I could I could just slide and fall? Slide, slide, yes! Ah, oh, sliding. Them slides. Them slides. I'm good at the old slide. Got another gun. I don't want this gun, do I? I think I'll probably swap it out. Maybe. We need silent and deadly, so I'll keep that. Oh, and these skins. These goddamn skins. Ammo bag. Oh, nice. Here we go. Uh, is there a reason to go up that way? No. I'm going this way. We're taking an outpost as well, so I will need the bow and arrow. Because I really love taking outposts. I do quite enjoy it. If you pull it off, it's nice. If you don't pull it off, then it just makes you look like an idiot. I don't like that there could be wildlife here. I just don't know. I don't know the landscape. I don't know the stuff. Do I have binoculars? I do. It's very helpful. Oh, hello. Uh, what a shit, shit place. Let's have a little crouch. Stop breathing. Fuck. Uh. Okay. Got him. Got him. Oh, shit, the alarm. Oh, shit! Trick shot! Come on, that was pretty flipping good. Yeah. Ah. Thanks, mate. Shit. Got him. And you. Oh, he's on the run now. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, the alarm's out, mate. Thanks for standing there. Woo! Still got it. A bow and arrow. Sweet. Well, there we go. That's the first camp done. You'll be able to upgrade its defences by completing side quests in the valley. A weapons locker is there to keep safe all the weapons you find. So it becomes my only camp. Oh, goody. Ow. That's not going to be an issue later, I'm sure. very dark in here. What does this say? There's a hot spring in the caves above the relay station. Whilst we were installing the antenna on the old farmer's house, we'd sometimes hike up there for baths. There's something weird about that place, though. Maybe it's because the water is so hot, but I get a little light head. Oh, okay. So that's where we just were. Uh, 
I don't want a gun. Thank you for the reek and the hunter and the elephant gun and the driller and the harpoon and the sandman and that and that and that and that. <laughs> How much money have I got? I've got enough that I can actually do some stuff. I'm gonna customize this with a reflex sight because I like it and it'll make me feel better. Uh, sidearms. I'm gonna go with this one because it's so much goddamn better. Oh yeah. Uh, can I customize you as well? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Let's go an extended magazine. Yes. There we are. Happy about that. Uh, the drill is pretty good actually as well. Let's replace that with this. There we go. Fabulous. Fabulous. Bit cheats. Oh, hang on. What was that? Station upgrades. Why is the med kit in there? Oh, I see. To put around the place. And then all these unlock as well. Ah. Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. I think you're fat. And I'll sell all the goods as well, please. There we are. Job done. Right. Let's call this person. Come in. Come in. Is anyone there? God damn it. Does this thing even work? Hello? Yes. Yes, we're here. Who is this? My, my name is AJ. We crashed in the mountains north of Karat. The pilot's wounded. I, I don't know how bad. We need some help. Okay, AJ. We are nearby and we will send someone to help. Tell me where you are. I'm in some sort of radio relay station. Okay. Listen. There is a storm coming. Just stay put for now and we will come for you as soon as we can. Okay. Will do. A storm? Just stay right here, huh? Not like I'm a sitting duck or anything. A little bit of a duck. A little bit. A little bit duck. If I'm honest with you. Um, where's this... Oh, it's there. The interloper is inside the relay station. Uh oh. Then get out there and destroy it. We must purify the valley before the start of the ritual. No, no, no. No purifying, no rituals. First night. We are attacking the station from the north. From the north? Okay. I've almost reached the relay station. What's your position? We're close. Right on your heels. Right. Bloody storm! Oh, they're there. Have some meat. That sounds like a bear. Oh dear God! Oh, that's that one's dead. There you are. Oh, hello. Where are you going? I don't know where he was going. Where's the bear gone? I regret this now. <laughs> Called a bear. That's a stupid idea. Oh shit. There he is. He's off. You go, bear. You go. And I missed that guy entirely. But it's okay, because he's here. And he stood up very nicely for me. Oh shit. Hello. Got you. The bear. Hey, Mr. Bear. Oh no, no. So this is actually me recording my voice after the game recording, purely because this bit is a little bit repetitive. And if you guys remember the defending the temple quest that I did really early on in the main game, it's very similar to that. You've got to defend the relay station and stop things like bombs. By then defending yourself, you unlock the ability to buy new things that will protect your station. These include things like mines, fortifications, traps like barrel traps, explosive barrels, a mounted gun, fire traps, and a load of other stuff. So it does allow you to customise your area if you want to some extent because arguably you can just buy everything and it's not really placeable so it's all in the same place uh, regardless of whose playthrough it is anyway um, so the main thing I was sort of getting to here is because we're starting from scratch and we're doing everything again we're getting all the guns we're getting all the skills we're doing all the crafting again it's really to ask you guys how much you'd like to see I've shown you in the first video how it works you know you have to pick up random stuff and collectibles 
and you have a concept of how Far Cry works in terms of side quests help you unlock other things. So if you guys want me to, I'll continue to do some of that off camera and play the whole of this DLC. Now, reviews of this have said that whilst it's quite good, it's very much more of the same as Far Cry 4. There's no, um, there's no pagan min, really. There's no like overarching villain person apart from the Yeti. Now, the Yeti is quite interesting when you finally meet it, but we have to go through quite a lot to do so. So really, it's just to ask you guys, after showing you this little snippet of what it is, whether you'd like to see more or whether you'd like to see something else. Um, if you guys would like to see something else, if you guys want to see more of this or less of this and you'd rather see something else on the channel, there's a straw poll in the video description because straw polls are amazing. If you open that and give it a vote and let me know whether you want to see more of the Yeti DLC and see if we can find the Yeti. And when you do actually meet the Yeti, apparently they're hard as nails, like they're really hard. It's not evolve level of monster. It's like I'm actually making an executive decision to save my life by leaving that sort of level of hard. So please make sure you do that. I hope you guys have enjoyed these two videos. If you are into Far Cry and you know you were gonna buy this DLC, perhaps it's helped you choose whether you are or whether you're not. Or if you've got the season pass, and I think that means you get it anyway, it will show you a little bit of what the starting bit is like. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you next time for whether it's more Far Cry or something else. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.